Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can make such a progress bar in a Jetpack Compose. So there is a new Jetpack Compose tutorial here. And there is already a circular progress bar in Jetpack Compose by default. It's called Circular Progress Indicator. But that one does not have these round ends here, basically. So these are cut off and I think that does not look that well. So I'm going to show you how we can make a custom one using a canvas. So you will learn about canvas and Jetpack Compose at the same time. This will be animated here. So let me quickly relaunch the app. So you can see how the animation plays. So you can see the, the, the number here counts up as this progress bar is also animating. And let me quickly change the stroke width so you can also see how we can customize that can see we can make it thicker, we can make it thinner, just as we like. Um, a lot of things we can customize here. So let's just jump into it. I am in an empty Compose project and I will quickly remove that theme here and these two default composables because we're going to write our very own one. We're going to have a composable called Circular Progress Bar and that will take a bunch of parameters. On the one hand, that will be the percentage, which is a float. So in my example here, the, the percentage is set to 70%. So 70% of the whole circumference is filled by this progress bar. Then we will also have a, a parameter here for the number. So the number we will pass as a parameter will be the maximum number. So if this progress bar would be filled at 100%, whatever the number would be at 100% is what we pass as a parameter and then we will calculate just okay 70% times that maximum number and that is 245 in my case so the maximum number that we pass is 350. Let's do that. We have a number of type integer here. We have a font size which is of type text unit set to 28 SP by default. We want to import SP then we have the radius of the circle, which is a dp amount. And I will set this to 50 dp by default. We also want to import dp. Then we want to assign a color to our progress bar. So a Jetpack Compose color. Import that from Compose Graphics. Default it to color.green or whatever you like. We want to have a stroke width. So how thick our progress bar is. That is also dp unit. I'll set it to 8 dp by default. We have an animation duration. So how long does our animation last? Which is an integer. So we um, give that in uh, milliseconds. Set that to 1 second by default. And I also want to have an animation delay. Which I'll default to 0. So just how long do we want to wait until we play this animation? That is a cool effect if you have multiple of these progress bars then you can just um, give each one a little delay and they will animate one after another. And then uh, that is it for our parameters list. Let's go inside of this composable and first of all I want to have a boolean state here that describes whether the animation is already played or not. So var animation played by remember and in this remember block we use a mutable state off and initially our animation is of course not played. We want to import remember. We will still get an error here because it doesn't know that delegate way of initializing our state. So let's open our imports, duplicate the remember import twice and call this one set value and this one a get value. And then the error is actually gone. And now we will then use this boolean to actually start our animation for our very first composition. So what we will do is we will have a variable, rather a val, for the current percentage. And that will be equal to animate float as state. So with this function we can just um, animate a float value. You can see we need to pass a target value, which will move into the next line. And whenever this target value here changes, this function will basically animate from the old value to the new value. So how this is going to work is we will have an if condition. If animation is played, so when we switch that to true, 
we want to animate this value from zero to our um, what is it our percentage actually and else we're just going to leave it at zero F so this is the starting value our progress bar starts from absolute zero percent and then for the first composition of this composable we will set this animation played boolean to true which will also change this the result of this if condition so it will return this percentage so what this function will do is it will animate zero towards percentage using our anim duration and anim delay which will pass here and then assign the result of that to our current percentage which we can then use to um, just display that animation in our actual composable so to actually pass that duration and delay we want to specify an animation spec which I will set to a tween here just a very simple animation spec we can define a duration millis which is our anim duration and a delay millis which is our anim delay and that is already everything for our animation value that is very easy in compose now because we want to trigger this animation of course when we compose this the first time we don't want to just do that in the composable here using animation played and set it to true instead I want to put that in a launched effect block so it really only gets triggered for the first composition so launched effect the key will be true here so if we use true for that that means the key will never change and therefore the launched effect block will also never run again only at the first composition of this composable and then as I said when this switches to true then we will also trigger this animation here now let's actually come to the actual visible part of our progress bar I will put everything into a box so we will have a box here in that box we will have a canvas which we will use to draw our, um, our actual progress bar and in that box we will also have um, the text so that displays the current number so I will use this box here and set the content alignment of that box to center so we center the content and I'll set a modifier to a size modifier to give that box a specific size which is just our radius times 2 so that is obviously how big our circle will be and then inside of that box we will have a canvas if you don't know what a canvas is that is something you can just use to to draw your your very own shapes basically um, in XML we could also use that or whether in um, Android where we use XML layouts we could use that in custom views to just draw our very own views and yeah in Jetpack Compose we also have that which is a very cool way of making custom views a canvas in Compose actually always needs a specific size and the size of this canvas is just the same size as our box the canvas is in so just another size modifier here with radius times 2f and now in this canvas block you can see we have a draw scope and in here we have a bunch of functions with which we can draw things on that canvas so if you just write draw you can see we have a draw arc draw circle draw round rect and for each of these functions we have so many parameters we can um, actually use to to modify how a specific round rect how a specific circle actually looks like um, if we just want to uh, draw the contour or if we want to fill it whatever we want to do we have so many options here with a canvas and what we want to use here is called an arc an arc is basically just a part of a circle here like we have it here we could also make that like a pie here so that this area here would be filled but we of course only want the the stroke so what we're going to do is we will use a, the draw arc function and now in here we have a bunch of parameters we need to choose from on the one hand that, that is the color which is straightforward we just want to pass it the color we passed as a parameter then we have the start angle so the angle at which our circle actually starts and that is minus 90 degrees oops minus 90 F um, I just found that out by experimenting then we have the sweep angle which is the angle from here to here so basically this whole angle until which we want to display that specific progress bar in arc 
and that the sweep angle is 360 times our current percentage dot value so 360 obviously because that is how many degrees we have in a circle and we multiply that with our current percentage to get the current pers uh, the, the current degree for our animation to just display that in our progress bar then we want to set use center to false so what this will do is that we only have the contour um, basically so that it won't connect these lines with the center here so that we would have a pie we don't want that so we set that to false and as a last thing I want to set the style of that to a stroke input that and here we can now determine okay how thick do we want to have that stroke we use our stroke width for that and since this function wants that in pixels and not in dp we need to convert that to pixels and we have a bunch of options here to customize that stroke i want to customize the cap which is uh, which describes the ends of our stroke because we want these to be round so what we are going to do is we are going to set that to stroke cap dot round and that is everything we already need to do for our arc and the last thing for this composable is actually just displaying the text and also animating that that is easier so we just do that down here we have a text uh, that will be calculated with our number and our current percentage so current percentage dot value times our number we convert that to an integer because that is by default a float here just to just to get a, um, a whole number and then we convert that to a string because we want to display that as a text we set the color of that to color that black and the font size to our font size we passed and finally the font weight to a bold and that is everything we need to do here now let's scroll up and create our composable in set content um, I'll use a box here just to center that um, let's do it like uh, this and in here we use content alignment set that to center and we make sure that we fill the whole screen so modifier dot fill max size and then in here we have our circular progress bar and you can customize that now as you want I will assign a percentage here let's say um, let's say 80 percent and the number that describes our maximum number is let's say let's just say 100 so we can see that this really works and then we can launch the app and take a look in our emulator let's see and you can see a little bit laggy but it was animated correctly 80 percent of 100 that seems to work fine the ends here are round let's launch that again maybe the, the animation is now a little bit smoother a little bit but but you get what i mean um the animation is working so that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more of android tutorials and more advanced android courses check out my website in this video description where you will find paid courses which are just a way to really improve your android knowledge on a deep level and also to support me and my work thank you for watching this far and i hope i see you in the next video again bye bye